what is good YouTube? It's your boy Mario B coming at you guys with our week six team other slash battle for the BBL, the Balanced Battlers League. And um pretty pretty excited guys. We are gonna be taking on mid Pokemaster Master and his Alabama rollouts. So definitely, definitely make sure to smash that like button down below if you guys are hyped. And if you guys are brand new watching my channel for the first time or even just haven't subscribed yet definitely definitely consider hitting that subscribe button guys it's free and if you guys don't like my content you guys can always feel free to unsubscribe later but i'm sure you're gonna stay i'm sure you're gonna love it i'm sure you're gonna love the vibes on this side because they are wavy so um a couple of opening announcements before we hop into whatever we're gonna talk about here and first one being make sure to check the description down below i do have an invite to my discord server where you guys can join you guys can hit me up talk it is a little bit inactive right now but I'm sure it will start picking up, especially since I just finished school. We will be having a lot more time to be, you know, messing around with that Pokemon stuff. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, second announcement being, I actually joined a brand new draft league called the BBR, uh, the Rejects Battle Royale. Um, a playlist to our first week's battle will be down in the description down below. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, it's more content for you guys. So definitely, definitely feel free to check that out. I also have um, another video going up later this week, um, which will be a surprise. So you guys have to stay tuned for that one. But yeah guys i actually wanted to start this video out a little different i know i have the teams there but i actually wanted to go over the standings of the league as you guys wait wait wait, wait, wait. if you guys haven't watched any of my previous battles there is also a playlist to that down in the description below but i'm about to spoil our record for you guys if you guys haven't seen it yet um so let's go ahead and dive into it. i want to show you guys the standings for the league i know that sometimes uh you know we'll watch somebody in the league and let's say you guys only watch me in the league right uh, you guys don't know what's going on with the rest of the people. So this is a cool little thing for you guys to see who else is playing in the league, who else is, um, how they're doing, all that good stuff. And if you guys don't follow these coaches, make sure to check the description down below. There will be a link to all these coaches' uh, YouTube channels. And make sure just to go follow all of them. Show some love. Uh, you know, supporting the league and supporting all the coaches makes coaches want to keep playing and uploading these videos. So if you guys can do me that favor of just following all these coaches, checking them out, showing them some love, it'd be greatly appreciated. But let's go ahead and look at the table real quick. As you guys can see, I want to bring up something. This is our week six battle. Yeah, okay. So our first out of the first five games, we have four. We played four people who are in the top eight. So if you guys can see, we played uh, Delta Gligers, which was Howler. Uh, he, he's five and oh. We played Liv, who is sixth place, three and two. We played Leo, who is three and two as well in seventh spot. And then we played, uh, if you guys caught our last week's battle, we got Molly Whopped. We got six owed by uh, the eighth spot right there, the Hangs Out Sparkling Aria. So, um, and if you guys can see, we're like in 15th. So we're like in the bottom of the league. So my goal for this season is to try to pick it up so that we're at least not in the bottom of the league. Um, so hopefully we can do that. I'm not going to stop trying just because we are out of playoff contention. Because even if we win out the season, the best we can finish is like five and four, I think, or maybe six and four. Yeah, six and four would be the best that we can finish out the season. And that's winning out the whole season. This, this league has some tough competition, man. And with us, with that, with it being our first Ubers league, it's a little bit tough. But here are the standings. If you guys wondered how everyone else was doing, I shouldn't be spoiling too many games because this, this, um. This should be kind of like midweek battle, so I shouldn't be spoiling too many games, but definitely, definitely make sure to go check out all those coaches and see why they are where they're at. So let's go ahead and dive into our team builder now. So uh, sorry if you guys can see that. Um, so, uh, oh man, actually, I am so sorry. I'm going to give you guys a quick minute because I know I am blocking some of the standings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close my camera so you guys can see them. There they are right there. Our record is 1-4. We have one person below us who's 0-6. Oh They're having a, a bad season for sure. I believe that's Stremmy, if I'm not mis uh, mistaken, Stremmy TV. And he, he makes great content, so make sure to go check him out. But uh, just because people lose, it doesn't always indicate their skill level or stuff like that. Like, uh, they can definitely be better than how they're playing. Sometimes they just have bad luck. Sometimes they're just having, like, uh, you know, bad weeks as far as scheduling, all that stuff. So... Um, yeah, make sure to go check out all the coaches, and this is where the records stand. And uh, my man Howler said it was his first ever draft, uh, Uber's draft league, and he's he's in the front. So, shout out to Howler. But let's go ahead and dive into our matchup real quick. Uh, we're going against Alabama rollouts. He has a threatening ass team, which I am so scared of. So he has Cinderace, Delmise, Grim Sorrow, My Spirit, Needle Queen, Porygon Z, Rayquaza, Registeel, Rebombi, and the Rotom Wash. So um, Mid was one of those people who took advantage of only having uh, 10 Mons on his team, which kind of sucks for us. I'm not going to lie. Um, 
I don't see our team in here that I genned in. Don't tell me I'm about to gen in my team again. I think I might have to gen in my team. Okay, well, I'm a dunce. Unless, did I put it in here? No, it wouldn't have mattered, would it? Uh, sorry guys. Oh, okay. I had to join in my team before I did this uh, video. So, um, yeah, main threats on this team I'm scared of are things like say, uh, Cinderace. <laughs> Cinderace since it is liberal. Uh, screens from Grim Snarl. Uh, Needle Queen just being like a bulky mon that can get off big damage and some T spikes. Uh, Rayquaza definitely, definitely very, very, very scary. And Rotom Wash. So uh, the six I'm expecting are going to be Cinderace, Grim Snarl, uh, Needle Queen. Rayquaza, Rotom Wash, and then um, he can either bring Reg. I think he needs to bring Reg Steel actually, because Reg Steel stops a lot of my special attackers. So I definitely, definitely feel like he needs to bring it. And Curse, um, Curse is what I'm really kind of scared of. So uh, let me go ahead and get the team gen in, and then I'll be going over that shortly. Alrighty, guys. So the team that we are going to be bringing, starting off the team, is Grave Robber, aka the Kofagrigus, rocking the leftovers ability. This is my main Rayquaza check. This is my only. No, not my only switch in, but it's like one of my best switch ins to the Rayquaza. And also, guys, big shout out to my front office homies for always, always helping out with the builds. Truly appreciate them. Uh, this week, I think it was mostly just Jay, and then I think Leo looked over it a little bit as well. So, uh, Grave Robber right here, rocking the leftovers ability. Spread is going to be 212 HP, 252 defense, 4 special attack, 4 speed death, and 36 speed with uh, a bold nature. So, uh, this thing. Pretty much just here to check the Rayquaza. Like I said, it does have Will-O-Wisp, a Body Press, Shadow Ball, Plane Spit. We can live any plus two hit. He can't hit us with Extreme Speed, which is good, which is his priority. Uh, hopefully, my dream scenario is I switch in on like a Dragon Dance or something. He goes for like Dragon Ascent or Earthquake, whatever, whatever. I use Will-O-Wisp. I ideally land. And then once I land it, he's burned. He's nullified. And then I can pain Split him down. I can Shadow Ball him a little bit. So that's the initial hope and dreams of what we can do this match. And um, yeah, hopefully we can do that. Is that my... That's my green screen. Okay. Next, we got Shark Boy. Shark Boy right here rocking the Rocky Helmet. This is a very interesting set. I was contemplating bringing Choice Scarf because I think Choice Scarf had a really good matchup. But uh, my front office did mention that it was kind of predictable. So I wanted to run Rocky Helmet, a chunky one. And what this does is basically check Cinderace. If it wants to U-turn, it's going to take Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet damage, which is really nice. We have enough speed on there for the Rayquaza to outspeed. And then we have the rest into HP and defense. Uh, toxic Stealth, Rock, dra uh, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Dual Stab, and then Rocks and Toxic, which I think is really, really good. I think 9 out of 10 times this is my lead. I don't really mind seeing everything except the Grim Snarl and the Needle Queen. And even if it is like a, uh, sorry if you guys can hear my daughter in the background, but um, even if it is like a physical uh, Grim Snarl, we should be able to take one hit. So it's not too bad. Um, and if it leaves for bombing, gets up webs, we just go straight into another mon that we have in the back. So I'm thinking this is my lead. Actually, I didn't realize how good the Luxury Ball looks with this, but it looks sick as fuck. So uh, yeah, hopefully our uh, Guard Chomp can put in the defensive backbone on the team this week. Next. We got Kartana, uh, aka Paper Cut, rocking the Choice Band this game. Choice Band's so good. He has no switches. He has no switches. We just have to get this into the right position. We actually get to run a oh no, Jolly Nature. Jolly Nature to outspeed the Rayquaza. That's the speed tier that we're trying to hit. And then um, we can go ahead and just do big damage to everything with Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Knockoff, and Sacred Sword. If we get this in the right position, we can do really, really big damage. Uh, Smart Strike does about 70 to 86 to rate Quasar. So after rocks from Garchomp, it will uh, kill it. So that's pretty cool. We got to get up rocks early, no matter for a lot of calcs. Next, we got Hoops, uh, aka Umbreon, rocking the leftovers. This set is going to be 252 HP, 228 defense, and 28 speed def. This thing is meant to eat a plus two hit from Rayquaza as well and hit it with a knockoff and hit it with the. Um, Foul play to knock it out in return after a little bit of chip, after one life orb chip, or uh, after one uh, stealth rock switch in, it kills. Wish, protect, snarl, and foul play. Snarl, hear me out. It's because he has special attackers on his team. I want to snarl them down, and then I want to go ahead and get up a wish on them. So that's the goal. Hopefully, it can put in work. Uh, my front office did mention being wary of like a nasty plotting Rotom, which I think he's going to bring now that I mentioned it, but hopefully, it doesn't come into fruition too much. Next, we got Witzelapochli rocking the heavy duty boots. My boy is 
going to be rocking that regenerator ability. Uh, good amount of HP, good amount of attack, max defense with an adamant nature in order to hit as hard as possible. Sacred Fire, Earthquake, Recover, Defog is all we need this week. Defog is really good to get rid of anything like sticky webs, stealth rocks, screens. Um, it's going to be really, really important for us. So uh, Huizla Pochli really needs his defensive backbone this game. Last, we got Starboy. Uh, I'm a motherfucker Starboy. Didn't get to put in as much work last week, but hopefully we'll change that this week. Rocking the Expert Belt, Analytic Boost, Modest Nature. Ready enough speed on there for Rayquaza, like I said, and the rest into HP. We have a little bit of defense and uh, HP just to try to take sucker punches from like a defensive Grim Snarl a little bit better if he wants to decide to bring that. But Surf, Ice Beam, Flip Turn, and Dazzling Gleam hit most of his team for super effective or neutral damage. I think one of the biggest things in our way is Registry so we definitely have to be wary of that so i'm gonna go ahead and get connected with mid and then we'll be duking it out to see who can take our week six battle Alrighty, guys we are back and if you guys did skip to this part of the video we are taking on mid pokey master coach of the alabama rollouts sorry about that phone i know it was pretty loud uh, i'm gonna go ahead and search for my boy and we're gonna see what we get so let me go ahead and close this window down just open up this one and um yeah oops actually there we go switched it back to this layout it might lag a little bit for the beginning um yeah i probably should have man okay i'm gonna get my layout just like a couple of seconds these are the six that i'm expecting right there uh rayquaza needle queen grim snarl cinderace registeel and the rotom wash um like i said he could bring something like the uh porygon 2 as well or the regist uh or the ribombi to try to get up a web so i think my layout looks okay now let's go ahead and click this button big shout out to mid because he was waiting on me um i accidentally messed up on scheduling on my end so i appreciate him for being super understanding about it and um yeah he said good luck have fun i'm gonna let him know good luck have fun too uh really appreciate it. i'm sorry if you guys can hear my daughter in the background my house is busy as active uh, busy as hell and we pretty much get everything right except no grim snarl which is good i didn't want to see screens um i didn't want to see screens uh i didn't want to see screens at all so uh let's go ahead and skip porygon 2 here and there's my blue duck okay so i think i'm needing garchomp uh porygon 2 kind of seems like a problem though because i don't really have any fighting stab outside of oh i guess i have body press and sacred sword on my paper cut so i'm not really too worried about it um yeah not letting rayquaza set up is the big big problem and i also don't want to allow um does he lead i want to lead starmie so bad Because now I think about it, I think he needs Needle Queen or Rotom Wash. And what deals with both of those? I'm going to go Starmie. I think I'm going to Starmie. Everything's telling me. No, no. He's going to go Cinderace, isn't he? I've seen him lead Needle Queen a couple times. That's why I kind of feel like he would. But I think I'm going to lead Shark Boy. And if he leads Rotom, I just go into Hoops on uh, the Will-O-Wisp or whatever he wants to do. So uh, good luck, have fun, uh, have fun to mid Pokemon shirt, and hopefully, guys, we can pick up our second dub of the season. Cause your boy, it's been a little tough for your boy out here. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get it going. This is Jesse. Um, yeah, we should be playing in the Grass Stadium, so we have home advantage. We got the uh, the Grass. He does Lee Rotom. Okay, as expected. As expected. Um, but I didn't really have a better lead. I don't want him to burn this at all. Uh, I don't really want him to burn this. So I'm just going to go straight into hoops. Straight into hoops. I think I have my calcs loaded up. Also want to try to write down the stats. Um, man, I just ate some boiling crab. And if you guys know what boiling crab is, it's like seafood in a bag with like cooked shrimp. Oh my god, it's delicious. Okay, toxic here. But we are going to get the secret nice. If I'm not mistaken, if I put the right ability on uh he has Rotom. okay we did we did we did oh Rotom. reggie steel cinderace uh porygon so that's really nice to be honest it's really nice needle queen and then rayquaza so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and let off a wish here um, and then whatever he wants to do, he might vote switch out. Uh, we can just go ahead and go into things like the, um, yeah, 
we can just go into the uh, into the Garchomp if he goes into Cinderace, which I'm expecting him to go into Cinderace. And if he goes Cinderace and he U-turns, he's going to take Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet. So that's really nice for sure. He actually goes Needle Queen. Okay, well, this is my switch into Needle Queen. This is kind of my low-key switch into Needle Queen. Um, actually... I'm going to do it. I'm YOLOing right now. I think I'm going to go into um, Starmie. Does Starmie live? Any hit he wants to go for? I'm, I'm a little bit bulky. Um, versus Needle Queen. If, oh, no, Needle Queen. Like, if it's a Life Orb attacker. Uh, Earth Power has a good chance to knock us out, and so does Sludge Wave, actually. So that might, might not be the play. Um, I'm kind of willing to let off a Snarl here. As he gets up rocks, right? He's gonna get up rocks, right? Is it worth risking this this early? Uh, just being hella aggressive. Do I need? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. As he gets up his rocks, hopefully. This could cost us the game right here. Ouch! We have a small chance to live. Oh, let's go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And we'll get back up to almost full. And we actually knocked this out with Surf. We actually knocked this out with Surf. Um, we actually, yes, I believe we calc to knock this out with Surf if it's max HP, which we did. I'm going to go ahead and launch it off. And then if he brings in Registeel, I'm going to go ahead and flip turn out. So that's the play. Yes, he does go Registeel. So we'll get off a nice 20% here. Uh, we'll find out if it's Spadef as well. I think Spadef does about 20%. Uh, nice. Okay. Leftovers? It is leftovers. Okay. Um, here we just U-turn into... Uh, flip turn into the um, Ho-Oh here. That was a risky play, and thankfully he went for Earth Power and not Sludge Wave. Uh, so it ended up paying up for us. Flip turn out. Get some damage off too. So that's nice. And then we could probably let off a pretty safe Brave Bird after this. With Oh, we didn't bring Brave Bird this week. Damn. Forgot about that. Just launch off Sacred Fire, though. Okay. As he does get up the Stealth Rock. Okay. Gets up the Stealth Rock here. He definitely doesn't want to be in on my Ho-Oh. I don't want these rocks on my side of the field as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, defog. If this thing has Rock Slide, we are 3-hit KO'd by it. If it doesn't have a um, like any attack investment, we're 3-hit KO'd, KO'd by it. Yeah, so we'll get rid of these rocks. And what does he bring in here? Rotom. Okay. Rotom. Yes. Um, this Rotom? If it's offensive... Versus my Ho-Oh. Sorry if you guys can hear my family's background noises. Hydro Pump does not kill. Even if it's like max special attack timid. Hydro Pump does not kill. So I'm going to go ahead and, and hit recover. See what he wants to do here. Because I think he goes into Needle Queen here. We outspeed this. Oh no. Let's, well, we're going to see how much this does. Did this to 121. So that is a little bit unfortunate that he does outspeed us there. Uh, that did 6. 36%. So he's not he's not max special attack. He could be like no special attack investment either. Um, but this mod is very, very difficult for him to switch in on. Ooh, Rayquaza. Okay, well, we don't play games here. He could have the Rock Slide. Uh, we do not live from this point. We go straight into Grave Robber. I don't know if Rayquaza gets U-turn or not. I didn't look that up before the battle. Um, but we'll see right now. Shiny Rayquaza goes hard AF. Imagine seeing a whole ass Rayquaza in front of you. Yep, he does go for Rock Slide as we predicted. Uh, he gets off some big damage. And we're going to go ahead and eat that. So sorry if you guys can hear my daughter in the background. She's been like a brat all day. So she's over there yelling. Um, I kind of don't mind. What does he go into here? He probably goes into... Yeah, I don't think he wants to stay in here. He could go Rotom. He could go Porygon. I think will o -Wish is fine. Just to let him know we have it. Plus, we want a bunch of things getting status on this team, for sure. 
Okay, it does go Porygon too. So the burn is going to suck as opposed to a Toxic, but uh, we will take it because we do have the Body Press. It has Mummy. Okay. So we'll take that. And how much are we doing to this thing with um, Porygon 2? With Body Press, we're doing about half. Um, I don't want to take a hit though, do I? I kind of don't. Um, I don't really don't want to take a hit. Um, let's go into hoops. Get off a wish, maybe. I kind of don't mind that. Let's see, could teleport, which would be a good play as well. Um, he subs. Okay. He sub. Okay, interesting. Um, I really wish we would have had a heal bell right now. Uh, I'm gonna snarl this thing down though, just so it's not doing too much to um my uh, my guy. And snarl should not break his sub at all. It is faster than me. It does recover. Okay, so we're not really too too worried about it, right? Yeah, the burn is a little bit unfortunate over the toxic. It will still take the special attack um, decreases and it doesn't break the sub. Umbreon. It is like max for death. Yeah. Um, I'm going to wish here. Uh, he's going to go for try attack. Okay. Okay, we're going to wish here. He gets the crit. It's a little unfortunate with the toxic damage, but I think we should be okay. It's at minus one. Okay. And I definitely, definitely... What's it going to come down to? 75 to... 39? 75, half of 75 is what? Like... 37? Um... Umbreon going down is not the worst. But I kind of don't mind switching in my guy right here. He's at minus one. And we could just start launching off Sacred Fires. And this is... It's okay to say this is a sack, I think. Because this wasn't too necessary. Okay, Ho-Oh should always break the sub. At minus one, tri attack should only be doing about... Yeah. No para, though. <laughs> Why did I jinx it? Why did I jinx it? Man. Okay. Um, we'll take our fire here. He's gonna Thunderbolt? Recover. Okay, yeah. I kind of don't mind this. Um, we'll definitely break his sub here. He's at minus one special attack, like I said. As long as uh, Para... As long as Parahax are not in our, um, against us, we should be okay here. As long as Parahax are in our favor, we should be okay here. And it's better, I guess, that he got the Para than getting off the Toxic. Guess I don't mind that too much. What's he gonna go for here? Try attack. Okay, so he's just gonna spam try attack, which is shouldn't be doing too much. Wow, that's doing. Come on, bro. The crit didn't allow me to take the next damage on my Umbreon, and now this guy's getting crits. Uh, luckily, that's still regenerator damage, uh, which I don't mind. I'm going to take a fire here again, and we'll see how much this does. It should guarantee break the sub, even if it's max HP, max defense. What's going to switch in on this? Rotom Wash? Okay. Um, Sacred Fire here. We break out of the para, which is nice. That did a good amount. Okay. We should be able to eat anything this thing wants to go for. I kind of like Recover as a play here. I think Recover can be really nice if we can get it off. He cannot hit us. He can't hit knock us out with the Hydro Pump. We can see with the damage from Volt Switch last time. Um, yes. Please don't get... Please don't get parried. Please don't get parried. Please don't get parried. 
please. For me. Make my Saturday night. Make my Saturday night. And I know, it sucks to get your Saturday night made by not getting parent, but... If we can get to full... Recover. Awesome. We'll be back at full. After the regenerator. After the regenerator. Why does this video keep having ads, bro? I don't know why this video keeps having ads. It's making me a little angry. Uh, and this is where I sack off hoops. I think I'm going to go into Garchomp next and bring in um, and go for a Stealth Rock so we can get our rocks up. Ooh, that is not what you want to see. He has to knock us out, though. We, we knew this was coming, right? We knew this was coming. We knew this was coming for sure. Um, yeah, we knew this was coming, so... We're going to go ahead and foul play here. Maybe he thinks I don't have it and he gets up a second Dragon Dance. I mean, he saw Snarl earlier. He has to know I have foul play. Um, okay. Dragon Claw comes out. So Rock Slide, Dragon Dance, um, probably Dragon Ascent. This thing should always live, no matter what. We calc it for plus two. And, um, yeah, we just click a wisp here. He could dragon dance again to try to, like, nullify it, but then we could just click shadow ball. Then we can pain split. Oh, so Umbreon's gone. Rest in peace, Umbreon. You're a real one. Okay, he goes right back into Porygon, too. Um,. So Rayquaza picks up a body. One and whatever. Willows again, unfortunately. I wanted to body press so bad there. I really, really wanted to. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to body press here. He could try attack. Like, Okay, he's going to toxic this, which isn't the worst. He did have toxic. It's not really the worst, though. Uh, we'll be able to get off the the body press, which is really nice. Bop. Good damage. Good damage, good damage. I don't really mind. We should we should be at the point where we still live uh, the Rayquaza's move. So I really don't mind this. This is pretty weak. I'm pretty sure it's going to have to go for recovery here. And we can just bring in Ho-Oh. And Ho-Oh is very, very hard for him to swap in as far as... Uh, as far as the, what's it called, uh, the Sacred Fire. But we do only have eight, so that's something we have to keep in mind as well. But the Rotom is getting chipped down very nice. Yep, he recovers here. Maybe bringing in Kartana there would have been a little bit better, but that's super, super aggressive. Don't know if I was willing to do that. So, um, seems to take the burn here. Let's go ahead and Sacred Fire again. This thing isn't at minus one anymore, but it should be doing as much as it did without the crits. So, Rotom comes out here. Big Sacred Fire here. Yes, we land, thankfully. Does big damage, let's go. Okay, leftovers, but the Toxic will nullify them. I'm kind of willing to make that aggressive switch into my Garchomp here. Well, Garchomp kill from the range that it's at. Look, there's another ad, bro. What the heck? Okay, well, we're going to play this, this type of music then. Sorry to switch up the vibes, guys, if you guys were feeling those. Um, Rotom Wash is at what? Versus my Garchomp. Uh, it's not in range. It's not in range is the problem. I'm going to click Sacred Fire one more time. As he... Okay, he does Pain Split. Good play. Good play on his end. A very good play on his end. Okay, well, he loses this, this battle, this exchange, since he is poisoned. Um, the Parahacks are a little bit annoying, though. I'm not going to lie. A little bit, a little bit annoying. Um, do I recover here? kind of feel like I do on the Volt Switch. Hydro Pump. Okay, does he kill? I don't think he should. 
Please don't, please don't get, please don't get burned. Okay. Okay, we should be at foolish. 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 This. Okay. And like I said, this is kind of a losing battle for him because he does have to um, keep in mind of that toxic damage. I kind of want a sacred fire back, but if he goes for like another, I don't really have a switch into this thing. But if he switches in Rayquaza again and tries to get cheeky with it, switch in Rayquaza, please, please switch in Rayquaza, please. Please switch in Rayquaza, please. And give me a crit. <laughs> give me a crit too, yeah? <gasps> he does switch in the Rayquaza. Please. Please, ho oh, Please. Please, ho oh, Please. Yes. Okay. Can we get the burn though? Of course we can. Of course we can. Um... My play does not change. I go straight into Grave Robber here. Yep. Okay. He does D-Dance up. It's D-Dance time, baby. Okay. So he probably thinks he can win this exchange since I'm toxic now. Which, uh, he might. He might. Um. Which he might. But I want to. I think I still Will O Wisp here, even though the Porygon's a little bit annoying. I think I still do Will O Wisp. I cannot risk this thing staying in and me going for a body press like a foolish man. Plus, I still have to hit the Will O Wisp. You know, if we don't hit it, it's pretty tough. So, uh, stay in. Yeah, that's some good damage on Rayquaza right there, about half. Okay, he does switch out. Yep, four got two. <sighs> so Ho O's running out of Ho O's running out of I'm gonna make a super aggressive play and I hope it doesn't bite me in the ass, but I'm gonna go into Cartana now and try to claim a body. I'm going into Cartana right now and I'm gonna try to claim a body. I should probably calc how much a Porygon 2 is doing though. Uh, Porygon 2 versus my Kartana. Kartana tri attack should only do half. Let's see if it's like max. Should only do half. I'm doing it. Uh, I'm doing it. I've been playing risky this whole game. I think I have to play risky in order to, to make wins. In order to get wins. Um, if he subs here. It's a little bit unfortunate. I don't think he... Well, I think I'm going to click Sacred Sword twice. I think that's the play. I think I click Sacred Sword twice. I could take one. Uh, it's Toxic, not T-Wave. I don't think... This thing shouldn't get a Fire-type move. And Sacred Sword's going to hurt whatever comes in, which is probably going to be the Rotom Wash Sack. Please, no hacks. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sacred Star, baby. We're hitting something hard. We are hitting something hard AF. If Rotom comes in, I'm pretty sure it will be too KO'd. Okay, it does withdraw this. Registeel, which is great. We've seen this thing is... Leftovers, not heavy duty boots. Bop. Bye. 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 Um, and we get the beach boost. Okay, we get the beach boost. So, um, Umbreon is 0 and 1, and then Cartana is now 1 and 0. Big Cartana, baby. He has to go into Cinderace, I think. Okay. He went into Cinderace. We know what we're doing already. We're getting up rocks. We're getting up rocks now. It's a long game, so I have to be careful of my timer now because we know this game's going to go long. 
Please tell me you turns. Take that rocky rocky helmet. Take that chip. Take that sweet chip. You turn out, please. Pirate ball. Okay, any hits. So I don't think this does any damage. Ooh, does it? Does it? Okay. Um, I think I get up stealth rocks here. He's gonna find out where bulky. Um, I could also dragon claw. I actually like dragon claw a little bit better. Um, stealth rocks are pretty good for like Rayquaza and Needle Queen stuff like that. He goes Rotom because this is what I wanted. I think we could two hit KO Rotom plus the Toxic right now. Oh no, we can't. Okay, no, we can't. No, we can't. Stealth rocks would have been nice there for sure. This thing definitely has Wisp. Um, we don't want this thing wisped. We really don't. Um, so I think I'm gonna make a pivot into this. And I'll pivot back out too after that to get the full. Let's see if you wisp here. You could pain split. Which would be a little bit annoying. Yeah, he does pain split. So he shouldn't get too much. Damn, are we in Hydro Pump range? I have to check if we're in Hydro Pump range. And I also want to check our... We're at 51. We are at 51. Hydro Pump has a 75% chance to knock us out here. Um, predicting him to go for Hydro Pump. I think I'm going to go into Starmie. Should I do that? A star should eat the hydro pump. It won't eat the volt switch though. Uh Okay. We are gonna have to Wish I had protect right now. Okay, our time is running low, so I'm gonna recover here and pray that he goes for volt switch. He does hydro pump and he hits damn I think he knocks us out. Come on, ho oh live you god. Yeah, Rotom kills it. Okay, well, ho -Oh goes down, which is a little bit unfortunate because it was our main pivot into things like Porygon and the uh, Rotom. But now I think uh, my boy Cartana just kind of claims a body. My boy Cartana kind of just claims a body here. And I think he's going to let me have it too. I do think he's going to let me have it. Yes, I think he's going to let me have it. I think uh, this does knock out Needle Queen or it will two hit KO it. Yes, I think this still two hit KOs as well. Okay, he gets the beast boost. This should two hit KO as well. Okay, it just knocks him out. So Porygon goes uh, one and one, I think, right? He knocked out... He knocked out... Cartana picking up two bodies. Rotom. Who killed? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Rayquaza comes in here. Cartana at plus one. Yeah, damn. I should have went like for Smart Strike or something. Uh, I'm going to go right back into Grave Robber. Like I said, we could take any plus one hit. Even with the Toxic damage, I'm pretty sure we're still okay. And we turned this thing out with Wisp. I forgot to add that Porygon 2 died, right? Porygon 2 died. This Dragon Dance, okay. We can always live the hit. We can always live the hit. I'm not really too worried about it. We should always live the hit. Yeah, we should. We should always live the plus one hit. And now he has nothing to switch into the uh, Will-O-Wisp. So let's just click it and hope we hit it. He's going to Dragon Dance again. Okay, which is not bad. Which is not bad. We do have Pain Split. We do have the Pain Split. And of course. <sighs> of course. Of course. Mm, I don't think we live the plus two hit anymore. I don't think we live the plus two hit anymore. 
he's gonna go to plus three. Okay, which is like plus one if he hits this. Okay, we hit it. So... How did I know? How did I know? How did I know? I think that's game. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, I think that's game. Dragon Ascent comes out here. Does this lower down speed? Okay, so Rayquaza picks up a kill. Two kills? Just a defense. So two and whatever, probably gonna sweep us here. Um, I guess the miss didn't miss too much. The heck? Um, I'm gonna go bulky boy, try to get off some damage on this. Um, yeah, we don't live this either though. Habon berry would have been nice. Okay, let's for Dragon Ascent. Do we live this? I don't think we do. We are pretty bulky, Chomp. Yeah, unfortunately we don't. So he's going to claim another body here. Do get some uh, Rocky Helmet and some other chip. So that's three for Rayquaza. Um, man, that sucks so much. It's just game now. Um... Yeah, locking myself into Smart Strike, I think, would have been the better choice there. I think we 2-hit KO pretty much everything, even though Rotom was resisted. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, man, just Rayquaza is just that much of a threat, to be honest. Like, Rayquaza is a threat. Like, you get up a, a Dragon Dance, and it's pretty much game. So, uh, can't even be mad. GG's to mid. I am a little salty, but honestly, just because I've been taking hella L's this whole weekend. So, um, I'm a little salty about that, but it's all good. It's all good, guys. Like I said, um, our prep hasn't been the best these past couple of weeks just because of school and stuff like that. I was really struggling with finals. So hopefully in the coming weeks, we can play a little bit better. That's my ultimate goal. Um, but yeah, pretty much um, the goal. I said GG's to Pokemaster. Good games. Rayquaza is a threat, man. I can't even be mad at him. Um, but yeah, I feel like we were playing very, very well. I think he just did very good well spreading those Toxics around my team. So I ended up um, taking the 4-0 loss this week. So 6-0 last week, 4-0 this week. I promise, guys, I'm trying my hardest to bounce back. We will be coming at you guys next week. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for taking the time out of you guys' day to catch this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. And if you guys didn't like, shoot that pity, that petty, uh, that pity like, not petty like, that pity like. And also, guys, if you guys are brand new, definitely, definitely consider subscribing. I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next video i am out of here peace